What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Monk's former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Subscribe to our free OSAE newsletter to get training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more delivered to your email inbox on Tuesdays. Today we're learning how to defend in a 1v1 situation when an attacker has their back to you. Everyone needs this video, but if this looks like you, you definitely need this video. This OSA video is sponsored by our parent company, Believe in It Apparel. Our mission is to inspire athletes that if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. If you're a motivated athlete, I think you will love our Believe in It shirts. Shop at BelieveInItApparel.com. Defending isn't about being the strongest, fastest player out there. Yes, speed and strength help, but the best defenders are the smartest and they are patient. I highly suggest you watch our How to Defend 1v1 video prior to watching this video. You can watch it here. That video will cover the basic key points to 1v1 defending. Let me set up the scenario for you. My goal, the one I'm defending, is behind me. The attacker's goal that they're defending is in front of them. If they're going backwards away from my goal, is that attacker dangerous? No, but this is what most players do. They hear fans and parents on the sidelines saying, win it, win it, rip his head off. And what's this going to be? A foul. That's correct. Now the attacker has a free kick on my goal. Is this dangerous? Yes. And whose fault is that? Mine. The other problem with getting too tight on an attacker's back is you will get spun. In this position, you can't see the ball, and a great attacker will use your body to spin off you. Now it's time for key points. Key point number one, be an arm's length away. This will give you a good guide to how close you should be on the attacker. Notice you are still tight on them, but now if they turn, you can see it coming and you will be less likely to foul. Don't pull their ponytail or their shirt or put your hand on their shoulder. Just have your arm out as a distance guide. Key point number two, stand sideways, not straight on. This, not this. Key point number three, be patient. Remember, if the attacker is going away from your goal, you are doing your job. Remember that a lot of players, including pros, get impatient here. They try to win it, end up fouling, or the attacker spins them. If you hold up your attacker for a few seconds, what are your teammates going to do? Usually, someone is going to come over and double team the attacker you are holding up. But that can only happen if you're patient. Key point number four, let them make the mistake. You don't have to make a play. They have to make a play. Remember, if you're holding them up, you are making a play. When they try to force a play and have a bad touch and maybe the ball gets a little too close between their legs, then yes, that's the time when you step in, get a foot in, and win it. Key point number five, use the basic 1v1 defending techniques we teach in our how to defend 1v1 video here. Key point number six, run with the attacker when they turn. Lots of times when attackers turn, defenders dive in and get beat. Yes, if you think you can win it, then step in and win it. But more times than not, it's best to turn and run with the defender and win the ball that way as you have a few steps on them because of your angle. For this exercise, you will need a few balls, four cones, and a partner. Set up a small field with two cone goals and all the balls behind one goal. If you are lucky enough to have lots of cones, then make sidelines. If not, don't worry about it. The goal with the balls is the defending side. The defender passes the ball to the attacker, runs out, and closes them down. The attacker puts their back to the defender and freezes. The defender should be in proper 1v1 position for when an attacker has their back to them. Once in correct position, the defender says go. The game is live and the attacker tries to score while the defender tries to win it and score or kick it out. Repeat this a few times, then rest and switch with your partner. Go!
go. Go. Coaching tip. If you're a coach watching this, then you can say go instead of having the defender say go. Just make sure they're in correct defensive positioning before you say go. For example, don't say go in this situation. The player is not standing sideways in proper position. Correct them, have them stand sideways like in key point number two, and then say go. Some things that could be going wrong. If you're constantly getting beat in this situation, then you're too tight on the attacker. Be an arm's length away. Do not get too close and let them spin you. Fast attackers want you close so they can spin you and beat you with their speed. They don't want you in good defensive positioning because then they don't have great odds. Bonus tip, be confident. Believe every tackle you will win the ball or make a play. Don't go into a tackle with a hope to make it mindset. Yes, you won't win every tackle, but you need to believe 100% you will. Have this mindset and you will win more tackles than not. If you make a mistake, so what? Just get on with it and react positive. We all make mistakes. Big shout out to Coach Kent. Kent was a Believe in an Athlete Spotlight in a recent OSAE newsletter. He coaches youth soccer in Alabama, and we greatly appreciate his time and energy for the sport. Thanks, Coach. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Our free weekly OSAE newsletter comes out every Tuesday featuring training videos, motivational quotes, player spotlights, and much more. If you're a motivated athlete and you want a Believe In It shirt, please grab one at BelieveInItApparel.com. Post a comment and let me know this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!